There's apparently no conspiracy theory too silly or too stupid for Donald Trump to not believe in it. It's a question that maybe, simply because it's on the cover of the National Enquirer, that it might not actually be true. And the most recent one involves Ted Cruz's father. In the video you're about to see, uh, Rafael Cruz is saying why he thinks you cannot vote for Donald Trump, and then you're going to see how Donald Trump responds to that in this video. I exhort every member of the body of Christ to vote according to the Word of God and vote for the candidate that stands on the Word of God and on the Constitution of the United States of America. I'm winning the evangelical vote, and it's disgraceful that his father can go out and do that. And, just, and so many people are angry about it, and the evangelicals are angry about it, the way he does that. And, you know, there's, there's a whole thing. And, and, you know, his father was with Lee Harvey Oswald prior to Oswald's being... Uh, you know, shot. I mean, the whole thing is ridiculous. What, what, what is this right prior to his being shot? And nobody even brings it up. I mean, they don't even talk about that. That was reported, uh, and nobody talks about it. But I think it's horrible. I think it's absolutely horrible that a man can go and do that, what he's saying there. Right. There was a picture out there that reportedly shows um, uh, Raphael Cruz standing with Lee Harvey Oswald. I mean, what, I was, he doing there, with, but, what um, was he doing with Lee Harvey Oswald? Right. Shortly before the death, uh, before the shooting, it's, it's Crazy. horrible. Cra yes, Crazy Guy on Fox and Friends. So that guy did 5% of what a journalist should do. <laughs> he says, there's a picture out there unverified. <laughs> there is, there is. Let's bring it up. So, Bam! so that's the New York Times. And uh, yeah, you see there, Lee Harvey Oswald, Rafael Cruz on the cover of the New York Times. Oh, sorry, that's the National Enquirer. So they don't even mention, I don't, look, I don't expect Trump is going to mention that it's the National Enquirer and that's perhaps just a shitty Photoshop. No, John, no one's even talking about it, Johnny. No one's even talking about it. It's a whole it. thing. It's a whole thing. I mean, why? No one even talks about it. He just keeps saying it's horrible that he, Rafael Cruz, can go out and do that. What did Rafael Cruz go out and do? He said, don't vote for Trump. It's, it is horrible that we have that ability that to go out and speak. The Horrible. fact that he does that, really, even the evangelicals, who I'm winning with, by the way, and I'm winning with the Mexicans and the Mexicans and the uh, me women Mexicans. The also most. the women Mexicans, yes. And I'm winning with them, and I'm winning. And he keeps winning. I'm winning with Megan Kelly now. I'm also winning with her. Well, maybe. She seems to be going she towards did, his side. She did come over on bended so, knee. I don't know if people know about wow. that. That really Did we Ooh. report that on this show? The, yes, the That's reality show. That's how I know show. about it, probably. Yeah, yeah probably, yeah. <laughs> So what happened was the National Enquirer about a, a little bit less than a month ago came out with this photo that supposedly shows Ted Cruz's father 50 years ago, 53 years ago, next to Lee Harvey Oswald, supposedly months before Lee Harvey Oswald assassinated JFK. I'm going to mention which president it was just to contrast with Donald Trump who didn't think it was important to mention who he was actually talking about being assassinated. It's not real. That is a stupid internet conspiracy theory meme. It doesn't actually exist. Even if that was Rafael Cruz, who it's not, and it hasn't been confirmed, thanks Fox and Friends for saying it hasn't been confirmed, but not mentioning that's the National Enquirer, it wouldn't mean anything. But this does say something, not about Rafael Cruz, but about Donald Trump. Donald Trump did not bring that up as a joke. Like he thinks it's funny that Rafael Cruz is involved in this. He literally believed that because he saw an image on the National Enquirer, that's the truth, and he's frustrated with the media for not reporting it. The media. He thinks, oh my God, why isn't this on CBS News? He's frustrated with the media. You know what? He's on more media than any news journalist in the country, so why don't you just start doing your own reports? Yeah. They could just report it when you, they let you call into ABC exactly. and they let you call into CNN and they let you call and they let no one no else one. call in. Still, no one. Bernie is yet to call in to meet the press. No one has ever been allowed to call nope. in except Donald Trump. Just him. Still. Hey, look, you're, so you're frustrated that, that only he gets to do these calls in. Donald Trump is frustrated that nobody's reporting on that photo. So I'm going to make both of you feel better. I am now going to allow that photo to call in. Oh, and if okay. it wants to make itself clear, make what, what, what was actually going on there, we'll give it that opportunity to do that. So look, Ted Cruz responded to these allegations that his father is implicated in the murder of JFK, uh, saying it is further evidence of how detached from reality Donald Trump is. He will say anything to make news regardless of whether or not it's factual. And then, uh, as if that's not enough, uh, Ted Cruz uh, responded in this video. 
Donald Trump went on national television and attacked my father. Donald Trump alleges that my dad was involved in assassinating JFK. This is nuts. And while I'm at it, I guess I should go ahead and admit, yes, my dad killed JFK. He is secretly Elvis and, J and Jimmy Hoffa is buried in his backyard. You know, Donald's source for this is the National Enquirer. The National Enquirer is tabloid trash, but it's run by his good friend, David Pecker, the CEO. And so the National Enquirer has become his hit piece that he uses to smear anybody and everybody. I'm going to do something I haven't done for the entire campaign, for those of y'all who have traveled with me all across the country. I'm going to tell you what I really think of Donald Trump. This man is a pathological liar. He doesn't know the difference between truth and lies. He lies practically every word that comes out of his mouth. The man ca cannot tell the truth, but he combines it with being a narcissist. This is not a secret. He's proud of being a serial philanderer. I want everyone to think about your teenage kids. The President of the United States talks about how great it is to commit adultery, how proud he is. Describes his battles with venereal disease as his own personal Vietnam. If anyone has seen the movie, Back to the Future 2. The screenwriter says that he based the character Biff Tannen on Donald Trump. A caricature of a braggadocious, arrogant buffoon. We are looking, potentially, at the Biff Tannen presidency. That's the good Hang on, one. I'm calling the FBI. Did you know Jimmy Hoffa is buried in his backyard? He admitted it on Hang on, I'm on TV. hold. I have some information about Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> this is going to blow your mind. Also, Elvis. He's been alive and this whole time? No one cares about Elvis. Before we return to the Ted <laughs> Before we return to the Ted Cruz, uh, so Ted Cruz admits there, he says, I'm going to do something I haven't ever done. I'm going to tell you what I really believe about Donald Trump. You should have already done that, you moron. You're in a race against him. Why are you now admitting that you're finally going to be honest about him? But, but so what I do like, though, is uh, what uh, what ha what I uh, I've always predicted happened would happen if people started calling, telling the truth about when someone in politics is lying. Now they're all just calling each other a liar. Hey, it's lying, Ted. Yeah. He's a pathological liar. He's a big liar. Everything he yeah. says is a lie. Lie, lie, lie. And now. They can all, well, but they can all do it. I mean, that's the only time they're honest is when they're, they're calling, calling each other liars. Ah! Uh, and so, really fast, Donald Trump responded Ooh, to the response joke. saying, today's ridiculous outburst, that was not an outburst, only proves what I've been saying for a long time, that Ted Cruz does not have the temperament to be president of the United States. By the way, in that response, we don't have the whole thing for you, he, that's a written statement. He called him Lion Ted. Which I think is hilarious. Talk about so, temperament. Tem talk about temperament. So that's the temperament. <laughs> what the fuck? He does. Ted Cruz doesn't have the temperament. Look, I agree with you largely, but he was responding to you saying that what you saw on the cover of the National Enquirer is a journalistic fact that needs to be investigated further. And I also saw that Vampire Boy is on the loose uh, again, and I read that in Weekly World News, and I want to know why CNN hasn't sent Wolf Blitzer to look into Vampire Boy. Uh, I've heard credible reports that there's a Helio monster. Uh... <laughs> Oh, that was a meeting with Ted Cruz's dad. <laughs> meeting with him, yeah. And what? And no one on talks the, about it on the surface of the moon. No one talks. What? So what, that's great. So yeah. what? What Donald Trump just literally did there. Donald Trump, known for having a horrible temperament. A horrible right? temperament. Horrible temperament is instead I'd like to punch him in the face, encourage other people to hit people. Mm -hmm. can't, it goes on misogynistic rants against journalists who ask him questions. Yeah. But it's Ted Cruz who couldn't be calmer about saying the crazy. He was very calm. Couldn't be, couldn't have a better temperament. Yeah. That, that's literally like if he went, Ted, he's too, Ted Cruz yells too much. He's yelling too much. It's like. Well, apparently, actually, uh, he did do that today. Uh, he was apparently talking about how Hillary Clinton can't stop yelling, and he was yelling the entire time. No. Which I think is ironic. Now, look. That's what I'm talking about. Exactly. It's just about irony, It's the amazing Johnny. irony. Uh, so look, to some extent we're talking about this because it's silly, it's ridiculous, and, and we like the, the politics of it and everything, but, but this does speak to something deeper. This isn't a one-time thing. Donald Trump will believe any stupid thing. It's like with the anchor Muslim, man. The, if you write it on a teleprompter, he's going to say it. The Muslim, the Muslim celebrating thing. I've seen, that, I saw that, news reports. Exactly. I saw it, I'm sure I saw it, that Obama isn't actually a citizen. Um, that Mexicans are rapists. Uh, oh, there was some other big conspiracy theory. We reported on it at the time. 
This is not a good thing for the president, that if he sees something on social media, he instantly thinks that it's true. We That's expect uh, 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 the president to be a critical thinker, someone who can integrate the advice of as many experts as possible and exercise like carefully crafted judgment that comes as a result of a lifetime of experience in dealing with tough, tough situations. He can't make it through a Reddit thread without thinking 10 new crazy things about the world are true. You know, like he, he, he gets his scientific news from like Kylie Jenner's Instagram, and now he believes he knows everything he needs to know about chemtrails. This is the president. And I, I say this in the hope that maybe some of his followers will start to say, okay, I like his policies, but you're right. We can't have a madman as president. But unfortunately, while we know that uh, racist feelings correlate very strongly with supporting Donald Trump, I have a feeling that believing crazy conspiracy theories might be an even stronger correlation. Oh, you like if you, you like Alex Jones, Jones and you people? like all that bullshit, I guarantee that a magnificently high percentage of those people already support Trump and so they're a lost cause. So, I mean, this story reminds me of that Abraham Lincoln quote, which was, don't, he said, don't believe everything you read on Facebook. So Ted Cruz, and this, this is the second angry, I'm gonna let you know, cause I'm very off the cuff, and this is a very natural way of speaking. Ted Cruz goes, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna speak. Yeah. <laughs> For the first time, honestly. Nobody wants to listen to you talk like that. So after so everyone goes, I can't believe Donald Trump is saying such stupid shit. Then they say, I wonder what Ted Cruz is gonna say. And before he gets through the first two sentences, you go, I don't give a shit what Ted Cruz says. Yeah. Just stop, make <laughs> him stop talking to me like what that. What was I thinking? Like, he, there's nothing natural about what he's saying. There was parts in there where he brought up his wife and she's standing next to him and he gazed at her and he said, I may be biased, but if he thinks she's not good looking, uh, then he's the one who's going, shut the no. fuck up, don't stop. N none of that was natural. Uh, off the cuff, I thought of Back to the Future too. You know Biff Tannen, because no one's heard about that before. <laughs> He's so fucking fake, he doesn't even know yeah. how fake he is. Uh, I, yeah. how, how are you that fake? And one of his lines was that Donald Trump is so arrogant that uh, he's the most arrogant politician of all time. We're looking at him. Like, he doesn't understand that he's that guy. 